to play the news from Fox. America is listening to Fox News. Now, here's your Storm Team 10 forecast. We'll hold a blend of sun and clouds with a chance of a shower or even a spotty thunderstorm. It will be muggy with a high pushing into the 80s and inland 70s at the coast. Clear skies for tonight with a low near 65. And Saturday will start with sun, increasing clouds, and a chance of showers and thunderstorms. It will be cooler with a high of 78. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Kelly Bates on News Radio 920 and 1047 FM. This report is sponsored by Police News. Radio 920 and 1047 FM. Traffic. Accident, 6 second connector in down near Dean Street. Delays there. Construction delays. 95 north and south on exit 10. Northbound backed up past Route 4. 4 north and jammed up from Route 2 up to 95. 95 south on your brakes after Route 37. All the way down towards exit 10. 295 south jammed up onto 95 as well. Then you slow southbound out of Mass right to the S curves on your brakes again after Branch Avenue towards Atwell's Avenue. At 146 back to Branch, 195 westbound, busy at the split with your Southern New England traffic. I'm Jim Stearns. Great news. In addition to the Coesed Inn takeout special of a complimentary bottle of wine or a quart of their delicious homemade chicken soup for pickup orders of $45 or more, the dining room is now open once again. Summer specials are also back.
to Sean Hannity Show, 800-941-SEAN, if you want to be a part of this uh, extravaganza. You know, when you really, really think, and we were talking about polls and talking about the state of the campaign and, and so on and so forth, it is one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life that all of this has happened. Everything that, that our wonderful ensemble cast has brought to you over the, the course of three years, and, and maybe ten congressmen really going all in to get to the truth. You know, Jim Jordan had a great quote yesterday. Uh, we now know how political the Justice Department was during the whole Russia probe. They spied on four American citizens associated with a presidential campaign. We now know that was totally bogus. In order to spy on those Americans, they lied to the courts. They used that to get a warrant to spy on our fellow Americans. And I'll add to that, it was premeditated fraud on the FISA court. Now, the struck notes that came out this week, you know, what did it reveal? That Comey, Obama, Joe had the transcripts. They knew the call with Kislyak was lawful, and they didn't care. You know, Sidney Powell saying that Michael Flynn planned to audit the intelligence agencies before the FBI prosecution, but, you know, this, this was manipulated at the highest levels of government. Joe and Barack were in the room. Joe's the one that brought up the Logan Act. Now, has anybody asked Joe that question? I mean, we're now, we're now in the middle of an election in 130 days, and Joe is like a ghost. Nowhere to be seen or heard. It is, it is beyond corruption and abuse of power. This was an attempted coup. The mob, the media, they don't care. They don't want the truth. Um, and it's, you know, the, our, our final hope really is John Durham and Bill Barr. Anyway, Greg Jarrett is with us. Uh, John Solomon is with us, investigative reporter, justthenews.com. Greg wrote two best-selling books on this. Kerry Pickett is a reporter, Washington Examiner. She has a column out this about all of this, how the head of a Department of Defense think tank under the scrutiny of Republican lawmakers for his role in counterintelligence surveillance efforts of President Trump managed to have his job responsibilities rewritten to escape oversight in Congress, which is another big deal. Uh, Kerry, we'll start with your news first. Uh, good to have you back. Thanks for having me, Sean. Yeah, this is a uh, fairly interesting because we have a, a man by the name of uh, James Baker. Now, mind you, the name sounds familiar. There's a number of James Bakers. Uh, in this case, uh, we have a name. Uh, his name is uh, James Baker of the Office of Net Assessment. Okay, and his uh, name came up in the past because we heard the name Stefan Halbert. And Jim Baker, he contracted out a job to uh, Stefan Halper over at the Office of Net Assessment. And we found out about that simply because the Office of a Net Assessment, it, 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 it's a, a think tank that was established back in 1973 to, uh, what it does, it, it, it it, it, it essentially looks at uh, American military weaknesses. It, 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 it uh, does that to provide strategic roadmaps to uh, help the uh, Pentagon ward off a uh, threat uh, to, and, and, and that's its basic job. And it was very good during the uh, Cold War. Uh, however, what ended up happening was over the years, people were wondering, um, well, why is it that we still have this particular think tank? And by the time we got to the Obama administration, people were like, well, why aren't we getting any more net assessments? Their job is to put out a net assessment every single year. 